Johnson Show on a Friday morning, brought to you by Community Funeral Home in Sylacauga. And Coach Johnson joins us on a Friday morning. And Coach, uh, could have won, should have won yeah. against Beulah, losing 29-26, however. Uh, yeah, we should have won. I thought we should have put it out. We, we still can't make that extra play. You know, uh, we played good, played hard. You know, uh, the kids that we had, uh, I thought played good, played hard for fourth quarter, uh, but we still can't get that extra play, uh, get over the hump. And you're a little handicapped going in, had some players that banged up a little bit, including your running back, Tilly. Yeah, we were banged up, but we had some guys step up. You know, um, Chris Wayne played great uh, on offense. Cordell Swain played fantastic on defense. We moved him to linebacker, so we had a 6'5 linebacker <laughs> that uh, that really ran to the football. Uh, Xavier, uh, Xavier Duncan, Kevin Duncan. I mean, we had a lot of guys uh, stepped up and played. And, um, you know, I'm proud of the way we just kept playing. 29-26 uh, loss on the road to Beulah last week. And uh, talk about uh, some of the upside uh, uh, in the first half against Beulah. Uh, you know, we came out, uh, threw a pick, and uh, they went up. Fort really, the first half went 14 nothing, and uh, we came back. That's and, not uh, a good start, not 14 a good start for, you know, uh you know, we didn't put our head down. Uh, we got back in it. Uh, every time they went up a score, we made a score. So, uh, again, yes, probably the way we kept fighting. You know, it, it's still a process. And uh, uh, But they keep doing it. Like I tell them, you keep working. Uh, that time coming. You know, it's tough right now, but that time coming, we're going we're gonna to get them good wins. With Tilly uh, out uh, and you uh, having to change some things around, uh, you talked about some players that have stepped up and uh, you counted on them to step up. Talk about that a little we bit did. more. We uh, did. You know, we had Seth Garrett, you know, move him uh, to running back. Uh, he went all quick back. You know, he went on pounding like uh, Phil Tillia, but he ran well. Uh, we ran Chris, uh, pulled back more, and he, he really showed out. He had a big game for now, us. He's a big guy, too. Yes, yes. He did good for us. Uh, we had to change up when uh, Lane Dennis went out again on us uh, at quarterback. So, uh, the game plan we had had to change the game plan. Uh, talk a little bit about the injury with your starting with your quarterback. Uh, he had another concussion, uh, so he done he done for the rest of the year. Yeah. So he don't need another one because he he played baseball. That's his sport though. But you know, just having him out there and he stuck stuck with it. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a plus for us. So we needed that second quarterback. Uh, but um, you know, you still got Sarah Robinson you know, again. Um, uh, we had Zach Cleveland play tight end. Had to move him to tight end. So it was different pieces we had to get. Uh, to keep playing and stay in the ball game. 29-26 loss at Beulah last Friday night. Talk about the second half. Talk about the fourth quarter. Uh, second half, uh, we settled in, played great defense. Uh, you know, we had a big stop on defense, had, uh, had a chance to drive. Uh, just executed a couple of plays right there. I mean, we, we were that close of, of getting that win. How but, frustrating is that? Uh, it's, it's very frustrating. I know, it, and you can see it on the kids' face. That's yeah. one thing about it. You've seen them, it, it's hurt them because they wanted that win too. Yeah, no doubt about it. Well, uh, at home tonight against an unbeaten and top five ranked Daveville football team, and uh, this Daveville team's a real deal too. Oh, a real deal. They don't get no easy. We mm -hmm. had a tough reason with the because everybody want to run the football. Yeah, uh, they didn't want to throw. They want to run it. Same thing we're gonna get tonight. Uh, Daveville's gonna run the football. You and know, you know what they're gonna do. Well, you know, and they know. We, we know they're gonna do, but you got to go stop it. Uh, they fast on defense. Uh, they attack the ball. So we got a handful, but, you know, we're going to go uh, try to execute what we do and do what we do, see can we pull our upset tonight. And, you know, you're limping into this game a little bit, still players out, and for whatever reason, some injured and some uh, from other situations too, but uh, you play with what you got. Right. We, we, uh, the hand you deal with, we're going to go play. Yeah. And I'm proud of the kids, what they did this week. Uh, we practiced good. Uh, they focus, and uh, they don't want to go play football. No doubt about it. Kickoff at 7 o'clock tonight, John Cox Stadium in Childersburg against an unbeaten Davo team, which is stingy on defense as well. Uh, how do you try to counteract? You know, you know what you're going to get with a running game, but defensively they're, they're rugged too. Uh, we're going to do some more, some stuff offensively to try to offset what they try to do, try to uh, give our kids a chance to uh, be successful. All right. Talk about a young man who uh, stood out last week in that loss at Beulah. I had to go to Chris Wayne. Uh, I told him, I said, look, we got to put the ball in your hand more, and he just re responded with it. I'd give him credit. He responded running football real hard. No doubt about it. Coach Johnny Johnson, head football coach of the Childersburg Tigers, at home tonight against the Daveville Tigers. That kicks at 7 o'clock from John Cox Stadium. Coach, good luck. We'll talk again next week. All right, thank you. Coach Johnny Johnson Show brought to you by Community Funeral Home 
in Silicon. More Daybreak coming up right after this.